I am making this video as an introduction to a new tutorial series, which is going to be a recreation of Nazi zombies. And I am specifically focused on the actual War at War version of Nazi zombies, as that has always just been my favorite. So what the plans are for this, and the reason why I'm announcing it at this point, is because I am going to be wrapping up the survival series a little early. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because, quite frankly, I'm just not happy with how the project has gone. And I would like to start fresh in a new project from just completely from scratch. Now, the reason I'm not happy with it is because a lot of it was I wanted to show kind of how I go through and troubleshoot some things. So the majority of the features that you saw were just kind of created on a whim. I just kind of wung it. So I didn't have any sort of pre-planning or anything like that. I did with a few things, such as like the chat component, as I was just kind of curious about that, so I figured I'd do that and show you how to implement it. But other things, like the pickups, for example, I am not happy with, and other item interactions, those could be done much better. So, with this series, I'm going to actually be sitting down and thinking and doing a little bit of planning and some trial and error on some good ways on going about doing certain things. So that way, one, we're just going to have a much cleaner code base. And two, it's going to be a little bit just, I don't know how to describe it, but just as a whole, it's just going to be on an, a level above the previous survival series. As well, considering I've learned a lot over the past year, because the survival series has been going on for roughly a year now. If not, maybe a little bit over. I'm not 100% sure when I started. But this is going to be the introduction for this series. And what we're going to be doing is we're, like I said, recreating World at War's Nazi zombies. We're going to have, obviously, zombies. We're going to be creating a mystery box. We're going to be doing all of the base features that you see inside of that. And possibly, as well as we're going to do something kind of unique, because I haven't actually seen any tutorials on this period, at least not with Unreal Engine, is we're going to be making our own master server. And what I mean by that is so for example if we're using the null subsystem we are going to be advertising our server on our own date like the server we create on our a database that we make through a web api that we're also making so when you go to create a server you're sending the information to the web api if it determines okay you're good to go the servers you know all the information's there it's valid you don't have any other servers running, that kind of thing, then it's going to publish that server to the database, and we are going to be sent to the map that we are trying to play on. And how we join servers is we're going to be, we click, for instance, a Find Servers button, and it brings up a server list. What it's going to do is it's going to make a call to that web API saying, hey, it's going to do a get request. We want the servers, just all the servers, just give them to us. And it's going to reach into that database. It's going to grab the list of servers, which is going to be just containing all the info. And it's going to send them back to that client that we were requesting it. And from there, we're going to go through and we are going to fill the server browser. So that's something pretty neat that we're going to be doing. So that should be quite fun. So we're going to be diving into a little bit of one, MySQL and two, some C Sharp as we're going to be using ASP.NET as our framework to create it. So that's going to be another little, well, I shouldn't say little, it's going to be a medium-sized project on its own inside of this series. So I look forward to it, and I would hope to have started this within roughly three weeks of this video, having the first tutorial actually published on this series. And by the time that I go to actually publish the series for the World at War, that will be indicating the time that I have actually stopped the Survival's tutorial series. I will be putting a final video out on that and ending it here within a few weeks. So I will see you in the next one when we actually, well, the next video of this category when we actually start building our World at War project. And as you can probably assume, this is primarily going to be built in C++. So, I will see you in a couple weeks.